husband wasn't ready, first of all, to have a second baby. When you have a child, things change. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. God's plans are good for us. So, regardless of whatever plans that you make, it might change. And hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is Aquile Babs and if you're new here I create uh, motherhood and uh, lifestyle videos and everything that is in between so I would love you to stay so kindly join this family by subscribing and then uh, yeah join this happy vibes and positive vibes and good vibes here now as you've read from the title this is my best story uh, let's just get straight into today's video. It is my second child birth story and I'm going to share it to you guys today and I'll, I hope it blesses someone out there. I hope the new moms or if you're already a mom or if you want to be a mom, you might take some few tips from what I'm, I'm about to share. So let's just get straight into it. So, oh my god, I don't even know how to start this whole best story but uh i'll just begin by thanking god god almighty for making it possible for helping for delivering me for helping us to deliver the safe and healthy baby now now taking care of a child can be very time consuming now one so Sorry, you might hear uh, you might hear Derek talking over there. It's because he's downstairs with my sister, and uh, you know how kids. They are the reason why I'm here today. today. So in case you hear him shouting here and there, it's because he's, you know, he's a kid. He just wants to, you know, move around. I would say, and probably he's being chased by his auntie. So yeah, in case you hear them shouting or you hear my sister shouting here and there, that's the reason why. Now, uh, as I was saying, taking care of a child can be time consuming. Every parent has three demanding rules. As an individual, as a partner, and as a parent. Alongside with the joy of having children, that comes with the stress and the fear of uh, or about things that will change, basically. Because when you have a child, things change. The time that you have with your husband, that you used to spend time with him or, or her, changes basically so you'd have to share your time with your spouse and also with your children yes at the moment i'm a mom of two one boy and then one girl so the girl the baby girl just recently just joined this family and the first one is a boy however how am i coping with the first one uh, he's turning to you very soon and I'm coping very very well thanks be to God and with the help with God and with my family especially my husband and my kid sister and with our friends I would say uh, things are moving on very well for you and your partner sit down to have take your relationship to the next level that's to have a baby you need to make sure that you are ready mentally emotionally physically uh all the lily lilies basically <laughs> yeah and i'm saying this because uh it's not easy first of all children are gifts from god and uh for this child i am a husband for this i would say i because if i say i am a husband i would say he wanted to wait because uh you know he had his plans but you know i always say and this is the reason why this is one of my favorite memory verses in the Bible. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. Listen, God's plans are good for us. So regardless of whatever plans that you make, it might change. And this is because it's for your own good. Because what if God allowed the, your plans to uh, prevail and uh, what you expected from those plans that you made did not come to pass you might end up by blaming god god why didn't you do this why didn't you do that so it sometimes we make our own plans but it is god to approve them to make it come to pass so my husband wasn't ready first of all to have a second baby so whilst you're aging your body changes and uh and whilst you're having babies once you have your first one your midwife may have told you or may have not told you or you've heard from a family member you've heard from somewhere you've read that if you want to have more children 
it's better to literally uh, continue having them right after you've had your first. But if you wait for too many years and for a long time or long period before you're having the next child, basically the energy that you had at first wouldn't be the same. Although you go through the same pains, yes, which I'm going to talk about because they do not tell you about that. They tell you, oh yeah, when you're having your second child, is um it's faster it's it's painless you don't feel any pain you just lie down and quick the baby comes out and that's not entirely true so regardless of what your mom or your friend or what you've read around that when you're having your second child it's easy it's painless that is not entirely true unless you have experienced it and then you would realize that no it could be faster but the pains Charlie is the same. The pain is the same. It never changes. Caring for your child or your children uh, cuts into, uh, into the amount of time you may spend otherwise uh, with yourself alone or with your spouse or your partner. This is because if there were skills that you were supposed to learn and you didn't learn or probably you weren't taught by let's say your family, your mom or maybe friends or you didn't read or research around about how to really take care or care for a child or care for your children uh i would say that your relationship might end up in a very uh terrible mess or you might suffer because there is a lot of compromising you compromising for the good for the family or your relationship i say family for your husband and also for your children your relationship might suffer so uh it's not really easy you know taking care of a child it's fun, it's loving, it's amazing, it's a blessed thing to have a child and uh, it comes with a lot of advantages and disadvantages. So I wouldn't say it's entirely roses, so everything is, you know, perfect. That when you give the, when you give birth to a child, your husband takes care of the child, your mom, grandparents come around. That's if you have good families, they'll come around like mine to take care of your child and friends and loved ones who come around to take care of the child. Uh, but it, imagine you had no one. You might end up not be a little bit challenging. But hey, it's fun, you know, taking care of a child. Now, let me just go straight to the labor story because it seems i'm talking too much and you know trying to uh pull your legs too much let's just get straight into how my labor went now where do i start so my last scan was on the 29th of june 2023 that's this year so uh i was gonna that was my 40th week and four days with my first i had my baby exactly uh 39 weeks and four days and with the second one which is this one currently one i had her 40 weeks four days so we went to the hospital for the last scan and uh, after the last scan what i was told or i knew was that um in case the baby does not arrive within that week before sunday which is that will be that i'm overdue when uh i'm overdue when it led to sunday they would either induce me or if I refuse to get induced, then hee hee. That is his session. <laughs> the only option would have been CS. Which I had always told myself, God be my guide. God be my help. God, please. I don't want to have my children having CS because I don't that's just uh, our own preference because many people would like to have their kids choose a CS but we decided that our children will all go by natural birth and that's either with water birth or you know the vaginal birth that you just slide down and push and and then the baby pops out boom yes so that one so we went to the hospital and then uh you know i got scanned i think i have a video or a picture of them I'm just gonna pop all the you know videos and pictures of what really happened during the birth and everything in the video so you will see it alongside whilst i'm talking about the story and i don't want this video to be too 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 long i don't want it to get too long basically so uh we went for the scan so they checked the baby was okay she her head was already down because i think all my children since they won 
that I got to know that I'm pregnant. Literally, the baby grows like that. Their head are always down, then their legs are always up. So I knew that I was definitely going to have a vaginal birth. Because normally, the, uh, what I've been told by my midwife is, if the baby's head is not down, then that means the baby might be born through C, uh, CS. So, I was praying that this baby will come naturally. And yes, behold, she, she came naturally. So, I, we were told by the doctor that uh, basically they've checked the baby and uh, everything is okay. However, we might then is going to be the next day was going to be the induction which means i'm gonna be induced or if i opt out that'll be the cs and we didn't want that no we i didn't want that because listen i was the one going to lie down and pull this baby out regardless of the fact that my husband was going to be there to support me listen we are the ones that we go through all the pain so so i'm the one to decide what i want so so i didn't want cs so <laughs> Oh guys, yeah, I can be joking. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just trying to, you know. <laughs> As I said, I'm trying to pull your legs more. So yeah, and that's what she said. So they weren't happy with the baby's the reason, And the main reason was the fact that with my first, uh, Derek came out, I think, 20, uh, 2.5 kilos. And they weren't happy about his weight. So they were like, since your first, you had 2.5 kilos. Uh, your first was 2.5 kilos with this one would have to monitor the baby and at that time that i was monitored which was on the 29th when she checked the baby's weights uh, i think she was uh literally 3.68 that uh kilos does i mean i think eight pounds or almost eight pounds if i if i'm correct or if i've done my calculations correctly and to me the baby was big because 2.5 Look at the intervals between 2.5 and 3.68. Charlie. Awala no soon. Awesome. And mommy. Like for me, the baby was big. Literally. That's what I said. Was big. And to them, the baby's growth wasn't enough. So the doctor sent us to the triage to go and get monitored. And then once we got there, as we were going, I told my husband, listen, I just want to take some walk. So instead of getting the car to triage let's just walk straight and let's go so i knew for sure i i just felt it literally and listen i had been praying 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 because because i had my baby the first one was 39 weeks and four days with this one i wanted to have her before 40 weeks because i just i just didn't want to cross 40 weeks that's just the agreement i went with my god and i passed 37 38 39 40 Plus four days. I was like, hey, I'm dead. This baby is not going to arrive. Then I'm going to have C-session. And that was when I started crying. I got worried. And uh, thanks to anyone who supported. Like literally they called, tested. And you know, just to get me. Just to motivate me. And, and you know, get me into forgetting about all my worries. And that's worrying about the fact that the baby wasn't coming. The weeks that I wanted the baby to come. So thank you. D and thank you D A because probably she wouldn't want her name to be mentioned but she knows who she is and thank you J you know your name and listen I don't want to mention names but thanks to anyone that supported and tested you know yourselves and I'm so grateful to anyone that reached out to me you know praying for me and uh making sure that I was okay and not thinking too much about the fact that the baby wasn't coming I'm so grateful. I don't want to mention names, as I said, and I don't want to leave one out and mention the rest, and it wouldn't be fair. So I'll just say thank you to all, especially my husband. Yes, he was there. At a point, sometimes he was so annoying. You know, when women are pregnant, you men, you are very annoying, you know. Do you know that? They change from zero to hundred, their behavior. It seems like they don't understand what is going on. Well, I do understand. After I had my second, that's when I realized that no. Listen, being pregnant is not just you, the lady, or just the woman, but also the man also is also pregnant. Despite the fact that he will not see the big belly, but he's pregnant because he go they go to stress. You send them to get used of your cravings. Like in the middle of the night, listen, I can crave for uh McDonald's pineapple smoothie. 
I don't eat from McDonald's. I don't like McDonald's at all, but I crave for it. I could be craving for uh, rice and uh, beans. That's wache in Ghana. That's what we call it, wache. And then he will wake up and then go and buy it, order it and bring it to me. By the time he gets here, sometimes I don't feel like eating anymore. Then his time is gone. I've just literally wasted his time. So God bless you, Mr. Isibe. I love you so much. You know that. But I'm so grateful and thankful to God that um you've been so much helpful despite that sometimes you are annoying as, I, as for the annoying part they mean you from me. i don't delete that part from it the annoying parts you know ah they are they are mostly annoying when you are pregnant charlie so yeah let me just wrap it up oh we went to triage i was uh, as we were walking i felt like the baby's movements um, i felt the um, contractions because prior to uh the date the day that we went to uh see the doctor i've been having contractions for two good weeks in a row so i probably thought that she was that was the reason why i'm in my head i was like oh the baby was gonna come on time so i was like okay then uh, i started praying telling god that god please let the baby come on time blah, blah 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 so as i'm saying as we were walking towards the triage i felt this uh active contraction i was like babe i think this baby is gonna come on time but before then or before we left to the doctor I pleaded with the doctor to check my uh, cervix if uh, to check how many centimeters has my cervix open and behold it was three centimeters and then I looked at my husband I was like babe we're having this baby today yes I believe and trust God is going to help us to have this baby today so we went to triage thank be to God we had we met a very good midwife who is from Ghana she just resided from uh, she just moved from Ghana to the UK and she was so helpful thank you nurse Irene from North Manchester Hospital thank you so much in Manchester uh, North Manchester Hospital, thank you so much. You were so helpful and your team. Thanks to Sarah. Thanks to the midwife. Listen, I could go on and on and on. But yeah, they were so helpful. So we got there and then all of a sudden they were monitoring the baby. They were telling me, listen, you're going to get induced. So you need to prepare yourself. And then I started praying. Babe said he was going on to get some stuff for me. And then when he left, I put on my phone, Victoria Oreze. She's a Nigerian gospel artist. Thank you so much for that song. I get back in that song. Hey, at the triage, I opened the volume. Sorry, the baby. Uh, so I've, I'm just going to insert the video in so you guys will see what went on during that day. After we've seen the doctor and she had confirmed that the baby needs monitoring because they didn't like the fact that her growth was less than what they expected. So kindly watch this video and I hope you enjoy. Yes, my face was horrible. So whatever went on in that video, please don't judge me. Mm -hmm. Please don't laugh at me. Hmm? By the way, baby says hi. Baby says hi. Say hi to your aunties and uncles. Hi. Yes, I hope you guys enjoy. Today is Thursday the 29th of June Yes, I was due on the 25th And uh, yeah, we are here at the hospital At the moment Contractions, wait Okay, sorry guys, I had contractions. Yeah, at the moment I've been diluted for, let's say by now it's six centimeters, I think. Because earlier on they checked and it was, well, an hour ago they checked it was four. So by now, let's say we've gotten to six. So yeah, as I was saying, I was supposed to deliver this baby before the 25th of June or on the 25th of June. However, she decided to come today, which is the 29th on Thursday. We are even unsure whether she'll be coming today or tomorrow, which is Friday the 30th. Whichever ways, um, I'm trusting God with this. God has been with us so far and I'm glad that at the end of the day, God has decided to make this happen today. And uh, am I excited? Yes. 
uh, about the pains and what happened by week by week I think I'll talk about it probably later but I'll probably say that um, yeah I'm just ready I'll say at the moment I'm waiting for Mr. Sibet to get here to help me through all this because he went home to get some stuff for me uh, and uh, yeah I just got a test that he's on his way so I'm waiting for him and uh, yeah let's just make this happen I'm good yeah and I'm gonna have a water bath so I chose water bath because I, uh, to me I think it's more relaxing and uh, it doesn't change the fact that you have the pain the pains will be there still but at least it helps that's what I think and uh, I'm just gonna let my body do everything just breathing in and out through the contractions yeah i'm not having any um medication or anything no if i need anything as always it's gas and air so but at the moment i don't need anything i just want my body to do everything so your girl is doing some hard 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 things be the bcb but thank god for everything so far this is my big belly, big, 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 big belly. At the moment, I'm sitting on the bouncing ball because it's helping me to, you know, dilute more. So, yeah. Talk to you guys soon. I don't know when, whether if before the baby arrives or when, or I'll tell Mr. Sibe to vlog. That's if he can. If not to, we'll probably have to narrate what happened during the labor to you later. So, don't forget to like, subscribe and then share the video. Sorry. Yeah, so that's what happened. And uh, as I said, I wanted to vlog during the labor or the delivery however things didn't go as planned because i was in deeply pains Charlie, the pains wasn't that easy so after i my water had broken so whilst i was enjoying victoria's song which is i get back in i get back in oh i work with god the father work with god the son work with god the spirit three of them join i get back in oh I know they walk alone. Sorry for my voice. I was listening to that song. I literally turned on the volume to 100 at the triage ward. And everyone was like, everyone was quiet. And I started praying. I was praying, 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 telling God that, God, please, I want to have my baby today. I want to have her today. I don't want to be induced. Please, God, make a miracle. And then I changed the music again and I put it to... God is in the story. God is in this picture. I hope you guys know that song too. I added that song to it and listen. That was it. So I got the gas and air and uh, listen, it wasn't working. They gave me this uh, painkiller. I've forgotten the name. I will set it in the video for you guys to see what it is. Uh, it didn't work. It got even worse. I started shouting here and there and listen. I had to push because listen, there was nothing there for me to take anymore because at that point I was like, I want a C-section. I don't know why when you're in pain, when I'm in pain during my birth and uh, having, uh, during the time that I'm having my babies, that's when I asked for CS. And the midwife was like, no, it's too late to have it. So you would have to go natural. And then God being so good at exactly 11, uh, 43. So I started pushing from 11 16 and by 11 43 in the evening p.m thursday the 29th of june my sweet 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 baby arrived and uh yeah um we were so glad happy called our families maybe i might insert pictures if my husband did two pictures or i think he did uh a short video i'm not sure but whatever i find i'll add it to this vlog for you guys to see we are so excited that baby number two has joined us. This is what I prayed for. And behold, God answered my prayer. So for this baby, 
I prayed for it and God really did answered my cry so first Samuel chapter 1 verses 27 my prayer came from that memory verse so I thank God for having hair yeah she's a crying baby it's okay it's okay it's okay she likes crying a lot yes we don't sleep especially at night but I think she's now adjusting she's two months now and uh, she's adjusting and I'm so glad about that so yeah we thank God for baby number two that's our baby girl and uh, yeah so oh, i'm so happy and glad she eats a lot she as i said she weighs eight and uh, she she came out eight pounds so you can just imagine she eats quite a lot she uh women and breastfeeding and also she's having the formula as well and uh, i'm happy about that because imagine i wanted to go back to work and this baby is having just breast milk how am i going to cope so i thank god that she's having both but uh yeah this is the joy of the lord yes and uh, all to his glory all to his glory because if not for him i wouldn't know what would have done if you've not watched my first baby's birth i'm gonna pop it out for you guys to go and watch that video let's we came home to our first son which he was happy i remember when we had when i had her and we called him on the phone he was crying he didn't want to speak to anyone he didn't want to see me on the phone i've never seen my child cry this badly he was crying, shouting, shouting. He didn't want to be with his auntie. So um, I, had to had, I had to tell Mr. Isabel to go home to go and check up on him because he was crying. Yeah, he came back uh, because he was crying and I was very, very, very disturbed and worried, crying as well. So when we got home, he was so excited. He wanted to hold the baby and... Uh, it's unfortunate that within all those happy moments, you know, you got you get carried away. Yeah, someone is crying. You get you get carried away, so you forget to take pic. I forgot to take pictures and videos, but hey, that's what happened. And uh, we thank God, literally. I just thank God for my life and uh, for how far He has brought my family. The next question would be, are we having baby number three? Hmm, I don't know. So I would say yeah, this is the, I will just end here and um, I would probably talk about the experience of what is going to be because she's two months now and maybe you guys might be wondering how am I coping with both of them. I'll do that in a separate video when I have time. So I want you guys to bear with me. I know it's not easy uh, on this, on YouTube, you need to be very consistent. If not, listen. Things might not go the way you want it to be but I am a very patient person when it comes to my videos on YouTube and my audience are very patient as well. Thank you guys. And also to uh, some of my subscribers reach out to us to know whether we are okay and what was going on because they never they weren't seeing any videos. Thank you so much for your understanding and for your patience. But yeah, as I said, I'll do whatever I need to do in the next video. I don't know when I'll be posting it, but uh, just bear with us. And uh, I hope God bless you. As the Lord has done for us, may he do for you and your family. May, may God open doors for you. God open that door for you. God bless you and I hope you have a very, very, very blessed weekend. And may you enjoy your time with your family and friends too. I love you guys so much. And uh, speak to you in my next video. Bye. So I'm just putting her to bed, but I think she's not, she's not sleeping entirely. But I hear, I will say, like the video, share this video with your family and friends uh, if you enjoy this vlog. And uh, until next time in my next videos, I would say keep spreading love and peace. God bless you all. Bye. Just to show ya, you're the one I want and I love ya. No, 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 no lie.